Soldo um, fourteen three two five still used. Seven two six eight lower sideband is what I can hear uh, with some of the communications of the Hurricane WatchNet. Uh, now I've switched to, of course, uh, a portable radio that's plugged in on my MLA thirty because it performs better on the lower frequencies than my NFED. So uh, forty meter band seven two six eight lower sideband. Checking out some cams on uh, on the internet. So there's a YouTube channel that has four different cameras that you can see here with uh, the different weather uh, in different parts of Florida. So it's kind of cool to see this. And uh, this is on my big screen there. And of course, Hurricane Watch Tent. I've been listening to it. Most of the day today, um, always interesting to listen, uh, weather reports, people have been with their own weather stations giving, you know, details of wind, speed, uh, rainfall, and so on, which is pretty cool. Barometer, which is always an indicator of how bad a storm is. So, uh, anyways, as this continues tonight... So we'll be monitoring uh, more tonight. I'm going to change the batteries because they're really low. And continue monitoring here on the Texan H501X, which is a great radio. And uh, listen to the Hurricane Watch Net. As Hurricane Helen, or Aline, I've, I've, I've heard you guys mention Aline. I'm mentioning it in French, which is Helen, but uh, whatever. Uh, hope everybody stays safe. As of now, which is 0145 UTC, it's a Category 4 storm, which is an immense storm. So hope everybody stays safe uh, with this really bad weather there in uh, the uh, in Florida. Uh, somebody asked me if it would affect uh, WRMI. Since it's more into the northwest of Florida, which is further away from WRMI, I expect limited um, problems at WRMI, but you never know sometimes the rainfall or a couple of gets of winds um, uh, hopefully uh, shouldn't be too bad as it's not really heading towards that area. Charlie Zero Mike Lee, listen to you all, Bravo, 